The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Vancouver, British Columbia, Dawn Marie. Look at how conceited this competitor is. I am glad that there are mute buttons on social media for people like this. Oh my gosh, jealous much, Corey? Also, have some guts and unfollow if they bother you so much. One of the top names in the entire women's division, and she plans on showing exactly why here tonight. This isn't going to be pretty. Hang oh, this neck break. Oh, gosh. Look at her stumble back up, probably seeing double vision. Look at this. Face first. That hit the spot. She's finished. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. She wants to put an end to things here. Another big move. Got face first. Now that is an exclamation point. kind of a butt kicking. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Vancouver, British Columbia, Dawn. Marie. This person is a little self-absorbed at times, but the WWE Universe doesn't seem to mind. Well, I think they appreciate someone with serious self-confidence. It sends a good message. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the deal here? I have plenty of self-confidence, and I rarely feel appreciated. She knows tonight is going to be a big challenge, but if anyone is up for it, it's this woman. The Glamazon, one of the most dominant women in WWE history. Beth Phoenix looks poised for competition here tonight. And from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. One half of the grit couple. No fear in the eyes of Beth Phoenix. The Glamazon is a danger that most are not prepared to handle. Arguably the most physical female competitor in WWE history. Yeah, male or female, the Glamazon will wreck you. Just ask the Judgment Day, the Miz, Maurice, the list goes on and on. And with this match officially underway, we should see quite the fight from her in this one. Oh yeah, she's proven that. For better or worse, she's not the type to give up easily. Some call it stubbornness, but she believes it's absolute resilience. She's definitely... Submission. You can see the agony on her face. This is painful. Can she hang? Now the backbreaker. This is excruciating. Oh, what an escape. Down the line with the schoolboy. Shoulders are down. Hit and stop by rope break. Oh, man, what a hit. 
Now we know what the five fingers say to the face. She's got the shoulders down. And she kicks out. Definitely looks in a hurry to finish things. Attack from behind. It's a neck breaker. the tables. Sidewalk slam. Corey, I've got to know, how exactly does one overcome the unique skill set that Beth Phoenix brings to the table? Matching Phoenix's power is impossible, so go with the tried and true tactic of wearing her out. Speed, agility, those skills are out of the Glamazon's wheelhouse and should be considered your best bet. Big time power bomb. That power bomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. is picking the competition apart. The Glamazon is now fully in control. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. That could be the spot she was looking for. Then here come the punches. There's press and added damage. Drives a foot into the stomach. Oh my God, that's gonna hurt. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Wicked clothesline. Beth Phoenix displaying that power. Look at her opponent. A Korean Rock is in. Oh my goodness, critical point of the matchup. It could be over right here. She's in trouble. And that's one way out of it. Ruby Lariat, the typically dominant Phoenix, found herself in an unfamiliar position there. Right hand after right hand. This is ugly. Running hip attack. What impact. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Two fists full of hair, this can't be legal. Oh, just dropped her like she was nothing. And Beth can't stop any offense coming her way. And credit where credit's due, she's wearing Phoenix out. The Glamazon simply cannot match her speed and agility. Strong kick to the body, down goes their opponent. And this is the sort of ruthlessness it takes. Look at this. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. She wants to put an end to things here. From the top. Last handle. She's looking for the win. Shoulders up before two. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. In control here with a swinging neck. It's just pure instinct at this point. A humiliating slap. And Phoenix is in a state of distress. Yeah, Beth was running to a low block. Crucial turnaround there because Beth was falling behind. Yeah, Phoenix getting some newly determined focus. Oh, jarring back elbow. Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. She's starting to drag a little bit. An unbridled attack from the Glamazon. And well timed maneuver there. Back looking to remind her opponent just why she is. Inverted surfboard and a wrist clock submission. Is she gonna tap, 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 tap? 
She is in trouble here, or is she? Able to reverse the pressure and escape. Such a risk taker. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Ah, oh, Beth caught by the counter. How's that for a counter? Oh, and Beth fights back. Hoist it up. Oh, right across the solar plexus. An unyielding Phoenix on the attack. Beth's offense is debilitating. Stomp to the leg. And gets tossed back into the mat. Beth sizing her up. Beth Phoenix, the powerhouse hoist. one for the record books. This one felt special from the moment the bell rang. We knew it was going to be a show. He had really lived up to all the expectations.